I'm Melvin Burgess, and I'm here in, in Scotland with uh, Scottish Book Trust. I don't really think so. I think uh, books are slightly self-censoring in a way because you actually have to put some effort in to read it. Secondly, you know, I think if people don't really don't like it, that they'll put it down. It, it, I, I've never come across a situation in which someone has, um, has someone has felt that the books damaged them or hurt them in some way, or that they've been too young to read it. They skip the bits that they don't get. So I, I wouldn't bother it too much. But, you know, I, I understand that people are sometimes concerned about what book their kids are reading. So uh, uh, the only thing is you just have to take into account they're not going to tell you everything that they're reading. Well, fiction, fiction and drama, of course, uh, tend towards the traumatic, you know, the, uh, you know, Shakespeare's full of it, the Bible's full of it, Dickens is full of it, uh, because people on the edge and under pressure um, often provide the best stories. So it's, it's the stuff of fiction to have uh, challenging and difficult, um, difficult content. But the thing about books is, is that because they're about understanding how people act and motivation and character and relationships, that they, they get you in on the inside. So I think that the great thing that novels do is, is, is they provide understanding, they give you an insight into why people are behaving like that and how they're behaving. And of course it's also a great way of getting a bit of a preview, you know, you can, you can find out about relationships or, um, or warfare or, or, or whatever it is you want to talk about um, without actually having to get shot. You know, school, school is, a, is a, a place of education. You would expect that these kind of issues that are going to face young people would be, would be presented in school and dealt with in some way. Um, I do still think that novels are a very good way of doing it because they, as I say, they do get inside the problem. They're not just depicting it. They're not necessarily moralizing. They are encouraging people to think for themselves and to understand what's going on. So I, I, I do think that's, uh, that's the best way of doing it. I'd be really disappointed um, if that was the case. You know, with a number of my books um, have come out junk and doing it, uh, people wanted to make films with them, and they couldn't make films with them because um, the quote, the audience for whom it's intended wouldn't be allowed in to see it. When you're 14, 15, 16 and 17, you're not supposed to see an adult film. And although we know that right around the world that's ignored and that people get it online or on DVD or they watch it with mum on the sofa on a Saturday night, the fact is that you can't get funding for it. Uh, television serves teenagers very badly, and books actually, and theatre to, to, to a lesser degree, are the media in this country where you can discuss things in an open and uncensored way with young people. And uh, if we were to lose that, it would be a big loss to, uh, to teenagers. You know, the, the books you can turn to. Films don't support them. Films don't provide the stuff. TV is also very difficult. So, so yeah, it would be knocking books back. 50 years, I think, to do that. Be a disaster. I find it completely mysterious myself. Um, if you write a book with a lot of sex in it, everyone goes completely bonkers about it, despite the fact that sex is nice. You know, and you fall in love and it's great. Everyone likes sex, don't they? Nobody likes actual violence. Um, I, I think really it boils down to uh, an issue of trust. Everyone knows that viol fict fictional violence is fictional. But when you start talking about sex, um, people are always terrified that somehow or other it's going to magically turn into real sex. Uh, I, I think that's what it is. And um, I suppose people don't actually think teenagers are going to grab the nearest machine gun and, or machete and go out sort of chopping people up, but they, they can be fairly sure that they're going to go and come out and start having sex with someone fairly soon. And uh, adults just don't trust teenagers. They're suspicious of them. They don't like them. I think. I think they look back at their own, their own teenagers. They think, "Oh, I was horrible. I didn't know what I was doing. I felt like such a fool." Um, so they just don't trust them, and they're suspicious of them. And I think, I think that's what it is. 